In, flare, head down. I'll even pull that just to get it. Now, if you just keep your arm dangling up, like a couple people have to do it, like, no, I get, I get out of there, but they keep their arm up. Watch. So, like, don't just, like, because you were going there, like, like, you weren't grabbing or anything, you were just leaving it. So when I'm here, and you just leave your arm up, I'm just going to come in here. Like, it comes down really fast. So just be real careful with keeping your arm here. It's safer over here. Okay. Yeah. On this side. So that's why, if, if, if you were to do that normally, I would go here, boom. So you're gonna be more here. Now, when I go here, start to turn it into me, pull him up. You can just force this move, but this is just a situation where I can use his momentum, right? Now from here, I step. So one thing here is if this arm is down in any way, all I want to do is put my foot over it. Like this. If it's up and I want to do this move, I'm just going to grab it and put it on the ground and then put my foot over it. Now I can step, spin. Right here. That puts my foot in a position where you can't block my leg. Now the biggest thing here is to pull his elbow where? Which way do I want to pull his elbow? Uh, towards the feet. Yes. So the best way to do this is to S grip, <coughs> come through, then pull back. So I don't even need to like go all the way through. I can just go until my hand hits here and turn and pull. From there, if I stay up, he can start to kind of sit up and I'll fall on my back. See? So, the key to holding a spazzy or just really strong opponent that can sit up here is actually to pull that elbow and then get flat to my back and let him fight. So, now he fights. Now, if I keep my back flat, I can just kind of like keep him here. And then when I feel the tension start to lighten up, I get the arm and I come right back to my back. Because if he's here, if I'm here trying to get it, I'm like a ball, and he's gonna come right up. <clears throat> so, as soon as I pull that through, I'm on my back. Now I can stop my feet down and pull him in. He starts to fight. I'm, I'm watching his wrist. I want my elbow to hit his wrist hard. Now watch my hands. Slide. If he's super flexible, I don't want to go this way. I want to go that way. Look how far I can go. I have a, probably about 18 more inches I can take his arm if I just body grip and go this way. Because the holidays are coming up. <laughs> oh. In the holiday spirit. <laughs> and all this time, instead of letting it turn in, see his arms all the way across your face? I'm going to hand it, the hand is under. And then I can come back, get under the head, pass it to my other hand. And then you have to pull this arm out, don't you? Pull it out. Under the, 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 under the,
her side, push this arm as far through as possible and block her head with your head. Nice.